Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The poem that I'm about to recite to you is called The Peak of Eloquence. And this was actually the first poem that I ever wrote. Um, and, and it was because of a, a competition that I, that I entered. So what I would say is that for, for people that are thinking of getting into poetry, get into competitions and, and start writing because this is the way I actually started to write. So without further ado, I will get started. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The poem is called The Peak of Eloquence, which is a translation of Nahjul Balagha. The Peak of Eloquence. Certainly, we are the masters of speaking, writing, and listening. Certainly, we are the masters of speaking, writing, and listening. Mankind is merely seeking the superseding gem of gems that is glistening. Mankind is merely seeking the superseding gem of gems that is glistening. As I sit here scribbling, my attempts of speaking, writing, and listening are crippling and fatiguing in search of diamonds and pearls. In search of diamonds and pearls, I ask, who is more giving than the father of soil? In search of diamonds and pearls, I ask, who is more giving than the father of soil? Pleading and beseeching, I look to igniting that love for Imam Ali that is beaming and harmonizing. That is beaming and harmonizing, leaving me energized but also reclining. I wish to die into, I wish to die, I wish to dive into, I wish to dive into and drink from the ocean of knowledge. His beauty and fragrance, I wish to perceive and experience, but fail to describe and define for his plight. Tears uncontrollable, my heart quivers with emotion. Those who repulsed Ali were doomed, while the attracted prevailed. While the attracted prevailed, I cannot help the attraction. My nature inherently and eternally submits to the truth. My nature inherently and eternally submits to the truth as Ali follows truth and truth follows Ali. How can man discuss the eloquence of a man who loosens and slackens the pain of his own killer? How can man Discuss the eloquence of a man who loosens and slackens the pain of his own killer, of a man who opened one million gates of knowledge through the Prophet's 1,000, of a man who knows and sees everything in front of him like the five fingers of a hand, of a man who knows and sees everything in front of him like the five fingers of a hand, eloquence of Ali goes beyond description and human comprehension. Beyond human comprehension, eloquence at his birth and martyrdom. Eloquence in his first and last words, eloquence in battle. Eloquence in battle, eloquence, eloquence he defines and determines. Eloquence he characterized and eloquence he embodies. Where is man? and his righteous sword in this era. Where is man and his righteous sword in this era? All I see is greed, avarice, and man acting to their own negative accord. The peak of eloquence, Nahjul Balagha, seems to collect dust un unexplained, unexplored. Maybe if we cared for one another's bread, maybe if we cared for one another's bread, we would jump aboard Noah's Ark and we would sail under the sunset to salvation. Maybe, just maybe, if we cared for one another's bread, we would jump aboard Noah's Ark and we would sail under the sunset to salvation. But we just don't seem to be in unison. While powerful persons control and poison, divisions of subdivisions of different ideologies fight and kill. Divisions of subdivisions of different ideologies fight and kill while the righteous in minority, while the righteous in minority jump aboard the ark and depart. Your ticket is timeless and straightforward. Love for Ali, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Qasimul Jannah wa Naar.